In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply scientific notation expressions together without having to convert them back into standard notation. We will do this by using some important exponent properties that are illustrated at the top here, where we have 5a cubed times 2a to the 4th. If we were simplifying this using the product rule, we would multiply the 5 times 2 to get 10, and a cubed times a to the 4th by adding the exponents to give us a to the 7th, and we would have our solution. We are going to follow a similar pattern on the scientific notation. Below, you see the problem we're really interested in, 2.1 times 10 to the negative 7th times 3.7 times 10 to the 5th. What we will do is we will treat the tens as if they were a variable. Just like we added the exponents on a, we're going to do the same thing on the tens. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we did before 5 times 2 multiplying the numbers. So what we'll do again is we will do 2.1 times 3.7. 2.1 times 3.7 is 7. 0.77. Now, for the times 10 part, we will add the exponents. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2 to get our final solution. Notice we did not do 10 times 10 and get 100. That would violate order of operations, because order of operations says to handle exponents before we multiply. So before we can do 10 times 10, we'd have to use the exponent properties first. So we're going to combine the negative 7 and the 5 to get negative 2. Notice our answer is even in scientific notation without having to do any converting. When multiplying with scientific notation numbers, multiply the numbers and then add the exponents on the 10.